friends, it's uh, Dr. Robert Chan here. Uh, in this episode, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about something called PRP or platelet-rich plasma. You might have heard it being advertised for penile injections. And so I wanted to look a little bit more into it and see if what, what the process of making it stuff looks like and if it actually works. So I'm here at uh, California Orthopedic and Spine um, and I'll be chatting with uh, one of my friends and colleagues, Dr. Paul Kim. Um, to see how he uses this stuff, PRP, for his practice. All right, so I've got Paul Kim here with me. Uh, well, how do you use PRP in your practice? I'm a board-certified orthopedic surgeon subspecializing in foot and ankle surgery. PRP is ubiquitous in orthopedics. We use it for a lot of musculoskeletal problems, but specifically for my practice, I use it anything from arthritis to tendinopathy to ligament tears. So I would say every facet in my practice, I use PRP in. So it's not just one particular thing. And the question I get is, what is PRP? Like you're just gonna draw blood and spin it and inject it back in, true. But it's also just the concentration of platelets, growth factors, anti-inflammatory proteins, promotes growth. Now it isn't true stem cells, but it's probably as close as we can get by not using stem cells. Well, that was interesting seeing how the PRP is made. Now let's talk about the important question. Does PRP actually work to improve erectile function? So looking at this study from 2021, this is a double-blind randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial, which is the highest in terms of clinical design. They looked at 60 men, half of them got PRP, and then the other half got a placebo. And they looked at it to see what would happen at one, three, and six months. What they found was that at six month time frame, almost 69% of the men in the PRP group had a minimally clinically important difference in their IIEF scores compared to just 27% in the placebo group. So the clinical implication of this is that this does seem to be a safe and effective, at least short-term treatment for the management of mild to moderate erectile dysfunction.